Anyway, for the singularity topic, we're going to discuss one of these, which I think would be really good, Yay! which is the techno life debate about body and mind enhancement and how far we can advance making the perfect human being. <laughs> oh, okay. I like this one. Where you can start. Okay. I don't know where we're going to go with this, but you go. Okay. Well, the, the basic idea that the, the video was talking about mm -hmm. was creating the perfect human. And when that was brought up, it really reminded me of the, the Singularity Conference about... Actually, that's a good idea. Let's go with that. Yeah. We don't really need this. <laughs> we stuff. don't. No, it's no. distracting, I've noticed, every time. Yeah, because I was always looking at that. It's doing we that. haven't got any... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> it reminded me of uh, the Singularity Conference, Robert Sparrow, talking about you know eugenics leading towards yep. uh, a certain perfect human. Perfect human. Because there is a genetically perfect human depending well on, depending on what you there's an idea it, that you could say that yeah yeah but then the, the the other the other concepts come off that say let's say height height's a good one let's stop on here i'm just scratching i'm thinking of it let's say height height height's yep. an interesting one here that if you pretty much speaking you'd want your kid to be as tall as possible like within reason like say maybe up to about like six six or something like that then you get a lot of people all going towards that level and then you'd say oh i want to make my kid higher and then you start accelerating it going through There'd be an equilibrium, though. Yeah, well, see, that's it. Well, that's <laughs> okay. the idea. The idea of perfect always reaches an equilibrium. Because ten foot kids would just like flop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I agree entirely. So, like, with some things like that, they'll reach an equilibrium. But for some things, they won't. Some things will always be perpetually. Yeah, intelligence is a big one. Depending on if the brain can handle it. Yeah, well, see, that's another thing there that you might be limited by, like the cranial capacity or something like that. I mean, or... you, you, you see, like, um brilliant mathematicians are people who have they're brilliant brilliant people but they just can't cope with it and they kill themselves yeah it's just yeah. overwhelming uh, that's knowledge true. can be like overwhelming for our primitive little that's very true yeah. the campuses type thing when you get to other interesting things like say um, no pain yeah um, and all of these other things that a lot about when we speak about transhumanism and speaking about the body mind changing is about you know just technology on top on top, leaving the body the same, pretty much. But most of our ideas around there, like, you know, the yeah. HUD, the... Well, that's how it will start off. That's obviously. how it will start, yeah. Like, you're not just going to suddenly go... Pfft, no. Put it yourself with nanobots. You're no, going to no, no, start adding it on. You put your mobile phone in your pocket all the time, and then your mobile yeah. phone becomes a wrist thingy. Yeah, then you... Yeah, <laughs> you're we're doing getting there, yeah. Head, and then and it just all connects. Then ink. And yeah. Well, so that, that's what I, I think would be kind of cool. Like, where does it go for, like, just totally changing all of your body? I mean, as, as people with yeah. people going through, like, I, I love that idea of removing like, the sense of pain or having complete control over it. That's a, that's a great yeah. one. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I like that. Uh, being able to turn emotions on and off. That's amazing. I, I, I've had this argument with many people before, and they say, well, why would you want to do that? It's so horrible. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big it's one. A really lot of people discuss it. It's really difficult to explain. Um, like, for example, there might be some times where, some moments where you just don't want to feel pain because it's just... No one likes pain. It really hurts. <laughs> but obviously, something like, you can turn that back on if you want. Oh yeah, sure. But okay, then you can. Well, you know, often when I'm getting tortured, I wonder what it feels like with the screen. <laughs> I do. Yeah. See, I guess the whole um, in, like uh, I have cur sex cur life. curiosity would actually make you turn on different mm. emotions and stuff. Well, that's it. If you can turn off that, you can actually experience what utter anguish feels like, or like. Yeah petrol happiness or turn them off and so you, you essentially you can, you can put your emotion you can control your emotional state at any at any level with, across any of the spectrum okay. at any time so okay let, let's say that we've reached an equilibrium with say all of our body's dimensions and stuff let's say that's all like an equilibrium thing let's like say physical yeah physical physical is an equ at an equilibrium but for emotional things that we have complete control of that um, I, don't know. I, I think if we actually have that type of control over our emotions they'll evolve yeah. Well, yeah. That, that, that's that, that's what I was uh, trying to move into. That, like, we have a few things, and then where would it go? Like, you'd have to yeah. evolve. And you? people would invent new emotions. You, you'd go to like a because there's, there's a great game, the Planescape Torment, where you go to a sensorium to actually uh, experience okay. new emotions. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Why not do the same thing? Because well, I mean, yeah, it's just it's just chemicals. If you can control and if you can control those release of chemicals and mix and match chemicals, you could create new emotions that the yeah. human species have never experienced before. Or Add and combine other ones, or just you know, dull down the you know the horrible stuff. And well, we already see that now with say uh, like watching Saw. Saw's a great example of that. That I mean, 
why do we watch that? It's because we want to get that, like, you know, the horribleness yeah, feeling. Movies, yeah. yeah, horror movies or, like, you know, chick flicks and all of that. We want to get the old, like, the whole lovey-dovey feeling. Yeah. Comedies. I mean, that's a great example. Yeah, uh, I just... Need... manipulating our emotions. And you should have thought of that, though, is uh, one, one thing that could go bad, a lot of people mentioned, is if you could control your emotions, wouldn't you just want to do that whole thing where you're just in a perpetual state of happiness type thing? Yeah, why not? And, and we... But we may get to the point where we're just like, oh, we'll just sit in the corner and just, you know... That's true, just the rat in the maze. Yeah, yeah, that thing, yeah. Just dull our senses, and or not dull, like, just, mm. you know, inject us with pure happiness where we're just in a See, complete I, bubble and hiding in the corner. I think we would keep on evolving from there. Then I mean, that there would be a few people doing that, but the ones that did do that would, wouldn't contribute to society, would, in essence, I guess, die off. Their ideas wouldn't contribute anymore. Yeah. And so the people who don't do that, like hiding in the corner and all of that, would be the ones to continue. I mean, it's a very I guess the, the ones are probably horrible ex- way of looking at it. Yeah, the ones that experiment with different emotional type stuff. Yeah, and ha- and can control. It. But it'll be a drug, man. Oh, it'll it's be gonna be the greatest drug ever made, yeah. ever made, ever. Because that's what that's all drugs are. It's just giving you yeah, and giving messing you with your brain chemistry. Ecstasy. It's just yeah. perpetually happy. Unfortunately, you lose a little bit of control. Yeah. Yeah. But see, then again, you could can control these. If you could do that, you could create um, chemical drugs that actually give you the high, but no negative effects at all, whatever, you can control it, yeah. like, to the T type thing. Well, so, that's pretty much the, the equilibrium that we're heading towards is, like, no no genetic disease, no no problems with your body, no matter what. And then, it, after going from there, that it's, I guess, control more over your brain and more over the emotions coming through. Yeah, not just emotions, even, like, um, what was the other idea? Um, controlling your decision uh, behaviour. Decision, decision, decision making. yeah. And even consciousness. <laughs> yeah, well, that that's where it really comes to like the the big. Problem imagine there, like doesn't it? like uh, controlling. If consciousness is an illusion, imagine controlling that illusion, like switching it off, you know, dialing it up, adding more to it. Mm. Um, even just the decision making. If you could see into your brain in every single like you know plank time of decision you make. <laughs> you can see exactly you know why yeah, you're doing it. You know why, and, and you know, it causes an effect type thing. You know yeah. exactly why. And then in doing that, you can actually, on the fly, if you wanted to, change how that yeah. that algorithm works. Rather than at the moment, where we're, we are literally just ants on a wall. Yeah, we're just acting on we, response as much as we like to think we're planning through. Yeah. It's very, very limited. We, we have no idea what's happening in here. No. We're completely controlled by these little yeah. neural interactions. Well, so that's the big thing that I think is not really, not really focused on by this. Like, I mean, we've already discounted ants. Discount all of that. Look for the equilibriums. And the, one of the things here is that we're not that we can actually start to focus on is improving that bit there of always knowing what's happening around us because at the moment we're living very much in a tiny tiny moment but if we can expand that even further like what you're saying or like like even time augmentation type stuff yeah just you you know what's going on that's so much now like I mean we're very much yeah. focused in a conversation doing this here even though there's and we're speaking very fast Infinite. so it's making it very difficult well, for other it. people to yeah it's really really, really <laughs> difficult but anyway, you've just got to keep on following <laughs> yeah sorry slow it down somehow well <laughs> Look at your man, um, back at me. I'm not your man, but I could be. Wait, that's not it. Maybe. I'm on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an interesting idea that um that uh, Jeremy brought up, one of our uh, viewers, who was really cool. He left a video response, yeah. which is a really cool one, about having, a, like, let's add computers into the mix. and uh, The digital avatar one? The digital avatar one. Yeah. But, I mean, like, we were saying, knowing what's happening for us right now, like, improving that way. I mean, you could actually also do it digitally, that say with recommendation engines or create a, a digital version of yourself that it would know roughly what you pick, what you choose using recommendation engines. So it knows, like, as, as Schmidt was saying, like, it knows what you yeah. pick. Let's just assume that that happens. It becomes there. your digital self. And yeah. what you can actually do with that, I, I've always thought that, oh, your you recommendation engine, digital self, you know, it could just learn from you in real, in, like, at that t- current time, in yeah. real time. But never actually thought too much about, um, it could actually take, you know, Take on test, test, yeah, future scenarios, and say, say I'm presented with, with this scenario. What how will my digital self respond? Yeah. Therefore, how will I respond? I mean, that that'd be a great thing in, like, say, a terror situations or just utter horribleness. Like, let's yeah. put myself in saw. Yeah, <laughs> what would I do? I mean, then you're torturing your Play digital self, and if you want some ethical constraints, there's <laughs> some ethical constraints for you. But it's Jesus. not me. It's, it's not me. <laughs> it's just a digital representation of me average. that's exactly the same. Yeah. I don't want to be tortured. <laughs> he was raised um, by another guy's speaker at the Singularity Conference. So what, what other angle can we take from it? I don't know. 
So I, I agree with you with like equilibriums, I think will be reached with like body modification and all of that there. I think most of the physical stuff would be pretty much similar. I'm not sure what you guys think. I'm, I'm a, I think most of them will reach an equilibrium, like say the height thing reach an equilibrium. The color of eyes or what cosmetic. about like speed, mu uh, speed muscles, and all that? Yeah, that'll reach an equilibrium. Strength, too. yeah, all health. that. Yeah, he health will be per like, like health uh, won't you want to be about like limbs? How many limbs would you want? Stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, hearing, true. Sight. See, hearing sight would always be the best possible, and then it just gets spread throughout everyone. Yeah, as as much as you can get, unless it starts to have the downside. I mean, everything about the physical thing, I think, will reach. Pretty much, yeah, an equilibrium, as, as you were saying right. before. It, so, it's really when we get to those exponentials, that so, that's where it becomes fun. Yeah, so we're mainly focusing on, like, brain augmentation, really. Well, I guess when you look at it, when you when we talk about ourselves joining the computer, the, the bit that we never focused on is really how the body would react to it. But I think the body's probably going to be, you know, ruled by augmentation. But as, as you said, with eyes and all of that, that could be interesting, because you'll get maybe a group of people just wanting to put computers in their eyes, because a computer could do it a lot better, like the actual... Uh, cameras could do a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> then you've got uh, another, like, dystopian <laughs> idea. Like, you know, if the computer's in your eyes, then whose vision are you seeing? Yeah. The computer's yeah. vision? Yeah. Because it, it can tell you this is what you're it seeing right now. can say whatever it wants, yeah. <laughs> in a jar again. Well, because then that comes to that yeah, point that the matrix why do you actually thing. need your body? I mean, you, you really get that far. That I mean, we're talking about the perfect human. That's the idea of this. And the perfect human, you may not actually need your body. Like, why not just exist within dust? Digitally, yeah. Yeah. Um, which I think is a big, a big part that I think will happen. I mean, there's there's yeah. really no need for the body, which has been explored countless times, so we won't go over it. Yeah. Yeah, the other obvious thing is intelligence augmentation. Like, yeah, well, that's obvious. Yeah, obvious like, thing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the expansion <laughs> thing. Well, yeah, you, you instantly, if we can connect the brain to the computer, you instantly have that knowledge exponential and intelligence yeah. exponential. Because then you instantly know whatever the entire hive knows. Yeah. And there's that, oh, that brilliant, what's that movie? Um, The Last... This? Samurai? No, 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 oh. <laughs> the one Jeff gave us, um, or pointed to... Oh, the, the, the Man on Earth. The yeah, last Man, man on, on Earth. Earth. And it, he was... it wasn't Man on Earth, it was The Last Man on Earth. It's not like it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and there was this point in there that's quite obvious, but he was like, there were, he, he was this um, caveman who existed for like, you know, he somehow... He can't was, die, he's lived yeah. for 6,000 years. Yeah, and he was a caveman or something, and he was like, someone asked him like, oh, when did you find out the... Uh, the earth was round and he was like well I found out when the rest of the species found out it was round yeah because the way it works obviously one person you know may think oh you know you know here's a little bit of evidence that it might yeah, be round yeah there's like a curve on the moon when there's yeah, a yeah, like, you're never yeah. sure and yeah. then some other people find some more evidence some other people find some more evidence and slowly it starts to spread around and forms into this aggregate idea that hey the earth That's is right. actually round yeah and then that slowly spreads out through the rest of the species and, and so really happens. Really, we, we've been acting like a single mind for... For a very long time. Yeah, hundreds of... Tens of thousands of years. Yeah. Thousands of years. Thousands of years, thousands. yeah. And, like, no individual knows anything. But if, if we connect to, the, to the, the internet and connect it to every other individual, then we do instantly know... Yeah. ...everything that the hive knows. Yeah. The species Straight knows. away. That's the perfect human. Yeah, that's... Wait, I didn't even know where to go from there. <laughs> no, I don't know either. Because intelligence augmentation is really the, the key. That's what so many people That's where you get the exponential. For. That's where you connect it to it. And that's it. That's how you can join the, the body going through there. Solves our issues. We instantly, you know, we can, you know, overcome. That's what the human species is. It's all about intelligence, not so much about physical form. No. I mean, we're the weakest, like, puniest creatures on Earth. We, we don't even have any attacking features or defensive features. Yeah, we got teeth. They're horrible. They're like... Yeah, I know. They're really the plant men, aren't they? Come here, plants! <laughs> we don't have any claws. We don't have any defensive features. We're so weak. And Maybe you don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I like that I'm doing this episode with this shirt. Oh, yeah. Transformers. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. On that note. <laughs> I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. If, if you guys yeah. have any ideas or any other thoughts on this yeah. particular topic... On that topic of the... Yeah, augmenting the human. Post it in the comments, or ideally post it in the Reddit subreddit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the single post, one. Yeah, just um, it's easy to use. Just post it a text article or something. Self, yeah. So yeah, self post, and you know, put your thoughts in there, and we're we're on there like relentlessly. We'll see it if it gets to the front page or in the new. We'll see it. So, epic. Yeah. So oh, I'll catch you guys later. Cool. It's been high forty five. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. <laughs> I think I am. Not sure. I've changed now since we began. Oh, you were just a brain in the back. Well, I already know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, catch you guys. Bye.